Indeed, yeah. Huddersfield, they're dropping like a stone, so uh, yeah. it'll be interesting to see what happens to them next. Let's move on to the Championship. More specifically, Sunderland. I More wonder why we're talking about them this week. Um, a Sunderland fan, yes. <laughs> um, well, let's set the scene. Sunderland's uh, the disastrous home record continues, Peter. They lost 3-1 to Yaps Chaps. Before we do this, I, I just want to point out that I said before this that I haven't actually watched the Sunderland game and people were like, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> that is not going to be a problem. Yeah, well, it's, it's the worst home record in English football history. Um, their last win at the Stadium of Light was on the 17th of December 2016. It's so bad there that one Sunderland fan dropped his kegs and uh, had a jobby in the stands. Yeah, yeah. well, That's the, a review, isn't it? Is that, <laughs> it's only fair to say the police have denied that this actually happened. Oh, really? And the kid was 17, but I wonder if that's the police helping him yeah. save it a face, maybe? I think, yeah. I think at this point, Jim, we need to cross uh, live to our shitting in a stadium correspondent, Mr. Pete Donaldson. <laughs> Uh, who was I talking to recently? He was no in denial. A... <laughs> they went up to oh yes, I do. Yeah, he, he, the, the landing question uh, went up to Newcastle to watch uh, West Ham play in uh, Newcastle. Uh, they were in a hotel uh, lobby. Uh, waiting for the dad to come down and get rid of all of his um, his uh, West Ham clothes that he got and have a Not night. Not a jobby in the lobby. Have a night on the town. <laughs> and uh, a drunk uh, Newcastle fan uh, was just sat. Uh, on a table by himself, probably about 18, just stood up and started peeing on the table. Oh, then got thrown out. That is piss poor. Piss poor. Um, it is bad, but it's still not as bad. Which well, is yeah, phenomenal. I know, yeah, yeah. When you said that, I was a bit like, yeah, it wasn't that bad. Because yeah. I've been desensitised by this. But Jim, you said that, uh, you, you, you know, mentioning the police, mm. denying it, of course. Well, one eyewitness said he squatted and curled one out. Oh, dear. I mean, that was quoted in the news. That was quoted in the Daily Mirror. Curled one out. Do we need that kind of language? I, well, I needed to do the quote, Peter. <laughs> you did need to do that. You know, I, wasn't, because... I wasn't telling you off. I was saying that it was reported in a national newspaper, the, the term curling one out for crying out loud. Someone told me that a, a manager currently working and doing quite a good job in the Football League, who I won't name for legal reasons, someone told me that he is well known as being an, one absolute boozer mm. and his band was banned, banned from several <laughs> hotels and pubs <laughs> in the area where he used to manage because he kept uh, urinating uh, all over the place, including uh, one of the hotel lifts. Oh, oh right. no. What an awful man. Yep. <laughs> Terrible. There we are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's have a look. Turn him. Turn him. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, all right, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, he's no. listed as footballer there, isn't he? On the Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> should be pisser, <laughs> lift pisser. <laughs> well, anyway, we should say that the the man pulled off his trousers and the stewards removed the dirty bastard from uh, Sunderland <laughs> Stadium. So <laughs> get out, you dirty bastard! <laughs> <laughs> that sort of thing is reserved for Sunderland Town Centre and only Sunderland Town Centre. Ah, oh, there's oh. the dig. <laughs> you want to go out as well? Take it to Metroland. <laughs> oh, you dirty oh. bastard. You dirty bastard. You dirty rotter. Oh, uh, I'm surprised. You took... fucking rotter. <laughs> Go on, say it again. Yeah, yeah. Do another poo. Bill Grundy. Drop your Bill Grundy's. Bill Grundy's. Yeah. What, have you, what, what have you just done in the stands? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> 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 uh, you do remember the Sex Pistols being interviewed by uh, Bill Grundy. Don't give it away. Let, no, let I'm just the you dirty oh, bastard. <laughs> you, or like in Step to and Son, you dirty old man. Yeah. Yeah. One, one for the kids there. Actually, or, when, when Johnny Rotten did that interview, he was actually being inhabited by Sam Beckett from Quantum Leap. <laughs> <laughs> Not many know that. I thought you were going to oh, say boy. Sam Allen, I said. Yeah. You get the basics very well. <laughs> Al turns up because you have an 80% chance of saying shit. <laughs> You know, oh. you're, not, you're not laughing, Marcus. That's not Quantum allowed. Leap, Step Toe and Sun, <laughs> Sex, all the modern All the modern yeah. All the, modest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all the big ones. All yeah. the big ones. Um, all the pence, including steak. Yeah, and West Ham, uh, you know, if, if they lose, there will be a bit of unrest, you'd imagine, in the crowd. They've had their bothers at the, at the London Stadium this season. Hopefully no one will resort to dropping their trousers, though. No, oh, God. As in the stands, as, as Have the you got a follow-up on that? I'm a fr- I've got to follow through on that. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to be careful, because this guy's only 17 years old. Yeah. And we've well, all, it, we can't be hypocritical. We've all done stupid no. things when we were 17. I'm, I, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. I, I'm doing it now. <laughs> Bless him, though. He's, he's actually come out and you know publicly named himself and apologised for yeah. it. Um, well, he, he, cl- he claimed he didn't jobby in the stands. No, um, he, says, he said it won't happen. I got a quote from him. I love <laughs> It won't, it won't happen, happen again. again. Got a quote from him. A lad who sat next to me put on Twitter saying it didn't happen. He said, I can confirm he didn't have a shit in his seat. I Fair can enough. confirm he had a piss. So, <laughs> you know, it starts well, but I, I'd a, have stayed incognito for myself on that one. <laughs> yeah. well, we did establish that a, 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 a jobby is much worse than a piss. Yeah, you well, can he... imagine his mate saying, don't worry, I've sorted you out there. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> he, he himself said, I'd rather it be that than having a shit on the seat, but I'd rather it be nothing at all. <laughs> we all, we all oh, agree, no. mate. No. I'd, I'd bless him. A number zero would have been better than the number one, yeah. but, it, but the number one <laughs> is better than a number two. The higher the numbers go, it's my worse. Fa- my favourite bit of the whole story is he admitted that he was very drunk, yep. having had 12 beers, six ciders, but only <laughs> ate two chocolates from an advent calendar that day. If, if further proof <laughs> yeah, that he first... needed that that is bad luck. <laughs> well... It, I mean, that proves that there was no poo to be had. Yeah. <laughs> he's drank proves. a lot and eaten very little. He's got poor admin because he obviously forgot to eat the avocado uh, yeah. from the day before. Or he yeah. was cheating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah he's, gone, that, he's gone ahead, yeah. Yeah, so there Mad we Advent, are. Marley. He, he said um, the first one was a snowman, the second one was a ca- uh, cracker. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> no, I made that. <laughs> there we are. Well on that. But I mean, would they celebrate it in any other way than they would normally a win? Because it's a bit tragic, isn't it? Yeah. I know what you mean. Because yeah. the next question is going to be, why are you celebrating so vociferously? Yeah. Because we haven't won for a year. <laughs> don't, don't do a lap of the pitch. No. And and, and also, what about this? Um, what's the latest on the, the, the fellow who didn't take a poo on, in the stand? Oh, right. Yes. Uh, yeah. Well, he's sort of uh, indirectly come back into the fray. I mean, if you're going to do something like, if, if you are going to drop your trousers at a football match and get photographed in the process, y- you may find that it doesn't blow over after just a weekend. Um, yeah. Some Sunderland fans are, are still angry with that young 17 year old fan who's alleged to have jobbied in the stands as he think <laughs> he, they think that he cost Sunderland um, their city of culture bid which they lost out to Coventry I mean it's <laughs> astonishing I don't think that's true well, but, even but I that, love the suggestion even, even if that conversation was had in the corridors of power <laughs> yeah. he's got to be very proud of himself so we've yes. got Sunderland and we've got Coventry they seem to be the front runners what's going on in Sunderland at the moment? <laughs> I'll just type it into Twitter <laughs> Oh, hang on a minute. That's, yeah. I mean, it, that, that kind of uncultured approach is, is beyond saving. Yeah. I, I saw a quote from the guy who <laughs> did or didn't uh, jobby in the stands, and he says here, um, it's just not, all you can ask for is to be a part of the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I made that up. Of course, of course.